Already had a few showers, thunder showers moving through this morning, primarily showers, and now we're in a bit of a break and it's really kind of nice out there. If you look out through our Healand live camera, uh, you've got some hazy sunshine, but uh, there's more on the move back to the west. Now, this is not the round of potentially severe weather for later on tonight, but it will uh, roll in as we go into the afternoon. So you can see it's still working its way across I-65 to the west. There are more numerous showers, occasional thunder showers farther west. And then you go even farther west, you've got some actual storms, even some severe storms. A uh, tornado watch just issued for parts of, um, well, right around Little Rock as you get down into central Arkansas. So the main severe threat with this round is western Kentucky, the Mississippi River Valley. We are running the eastern edge of it, and there's some good news to be had, at least within our viewing area. Notice how this threat steps down from moderate to enhanced to slight to marginal. It's an indication that that line is going to be weakening as it rolls in here. Problem is, we still have an enhanced to slight risk out there, which means we could see some especially uh, damaging wind gusts uh, later on this afternoon. Now you head into western Kentucky. This is the significant tornado risk from uh, SPC. Notice how it cuts off just west of Louisville. Uh, this means uh, EF2s are higher potentially, uh, torna tornadic activity, and as well as significant wind risk, 60 to over 70 mile per hour wind gusts possible. Uh, and that does extend a little farther east. It comes across I-65, but the majority of it holds to our west. So. Uh, Western Kentucky is going to bear the brunt of this. The future track shows the showers and storms as they develop into the afternoon. Of course, the big question here and what we're going to be watching as we get into the afternoon is how much of this clears out. There's the shower and storm activity by mid to late afternoon. You start to see this break in the clouds as drier air cutting in. You see sunshine and you start to destabilize the atmosphere at the surface. That's where we'll get a better chance to see this line holding together that's coming in from out west. This is getting into late this evening. I was putting the time frame between about 9 p.m. to midnight during sunrise this morning. That really hasn't changed much. It looks like it may slow down slightly, but late this evening and early tomorrow morning. This is where we could see some damaging winds, but watch what happens as it progresses east. So looking strong out towards Springfield, and that's around 11 o'clock midnight. It's starting to get more diffuse, less intense looking because it's running into a less favorable environment to maintain that intensity. So we'll likely see this line weakening as it pushes east, but it could still cause some damaging wind even into our eastern counties. Uh, but a lot of those I think will start to become sub severe as we get into early tomorrow morning and then that line rapidly pulls east and out of here. So the severe storm threat here, unlike western Kentucky, where it's pretty much all on the table, large hail, tornadoes, and as well, widespread damaging wind. We'll see some storms capable of uh, damaging wind gusting. Yeah, can't rule out an isolated tornado or some hail out of those, but uh, we're on the eastern edge of it and the, the lower threat compared to western Kentucky's I've been talking about. Wind straight out of the south, sustained at 17 miles per hour, gusting 20 to 30 miles per hour. And there's actually a wind advisory out for our far western counties. Get out towards Shelbyville, and that runs into western Kentucky. Just the wind in general is going to be cranking before the storms ever get here. 70s right now. The showers, the thunder showers that are developing into the afternoon will put the brakes on the temperature rise. And beyond this system, once it blows through, we're in the 60s into the weekend and still looking for a potential cool down into next week. So showers, thunder showers, uh, we'll see that developing into the afternoon. And a lot of this, uh, again, uh, how it plays out uh, will depend on whether or not we see that decent break in the clouds beyond this afternoon round that blows through. But we could see that chance for strong to severe storms late tonight, especially into our western counties, roughly between I-65, I-75. Showers, thunder showers track east. The wind's still pretty gusty out of the southwest. And then tomorrow, it's out of here. Now we're in the low 60s for highs. A nice day, but it gets better. 70 with some sunshine Friday. The weekend, spectacular stuff. Next round of active weather and a potential cool snap with some chilly overnight lows pushing that off into next week.